the... I forget, can I put the headphones on? Shit. Yeah, I'm not going to wear headphones. Frigate. Um, this is the view out of the blue shed and from my couch. Uh, and I'm going to ch check yourself so I don't wreck myself. So otherwise, it just doesn't seem like a, a worthwhile endeavor, right? You walk around talking to yourself? Sadio? You're probably right, Ira. Alright, let's see what we got here. It's pretty nice out. You walk around talking to yourself? Oh, yeah. Check it. Sweet. Pretty people, time to get old timey. See. Now the goal for me since I've done this before is to keep camera steady. This is where all the magic happens. There's Eniac over there in the corner as you can see. He's actually going to be watching himself. Like right like that. Look at that. Whoa. It's crazy. Yeah, so uh Oh, there's a little bit of a delay. There's his broken arm. See that? He's actually Sad. It's like freaky. There's me. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Kind of. Mostly. Mm. It's like the worst uh, iPhone picture ever. It's a motion picture. Like such in a mirror. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, let's head out and see what sort of uh, festivities we can come across and get a call. Hopefully, I got a battery. Yeah, I got battery. I got enough battery for walking around, that's for sure. The, this application is interesting because it doesn't adjust the lighting. Hello. Oh man, look at the water. I haven't been down the water. The sea, the brainy big blue. Question is, am I going to the sip and sip? I probably am. Because I like the coffee. It's actually good. It's Acme coffee, which I think is actually roasted in Seaside, California, which is on the other side of Monterey. It's in the opposite direction of Carmel, which is kind of northwestish from here, I guess. Um, I miss American Pie. So normally this parking lot is empty, and there are no porta potties normally. As we, you know, figure the figure it. Yeah, it's pretty true. But there are now. Oh God, it's the belly dancers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh man, they moved them away from the old timey garage to the parking lot of Bank of America. Yep. Burr, it's windy out here. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of people. I think there are more people here today than are here in a given month, actually. Dang. All right, so I'm going to go get a coffee, a sip and sip, which is right here. Oh, man, this place is slammed, too. Check it, yo. This is where I come hang out, do some work. Fireplace. I like to sit on the couch because I get like a cranky sh shoulder. There's a, there's about 20 porta johns right out that door right there, brother. Right out there. You know that, right? There's like 10 of them over there. I'll take that ice americana to go. Double. Taking some documentation. Yeah, you know. I gotta keep busy. That's the biscotti. All right. Close up of the sky. Hello. Hello, how are you? 
I've been excellent. Thank you. Enjoying the uh, good old days out there. Um, I can hear some of this stuff from my place. I went out a little bit yesterday, so yeah. You've I had a corn dog. That was good. <laughs> right. Seventeen thirty. Thank a good day. you. You too. Hi. Get a small uh, black eye. Small. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Hey, cold and PG. Um, no, not really. It's not really cold and PG. It's, I mean, it's a little windy. It's, it's brisk. It's the wind that makes it really cold here. If it's not windy and it's 55, you know, it's nice. But when it's windy and 55, it feels a lot colder. Let's go find some music. Oh. Yeah, I think it's like in the high 50s, but it feels cool. There are people walking around with, um, you know those glasses like Yard of Beer? Where you go to a fair or something and they give you that giant, looks like a test tube of alcoholic glass. They have that, they're selling that here, but it's more of a, I think it's like a fake, it's a fake daiquiri. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, no yes, worries. You can talk to my agent if you That's want right. to. Yes, I will. I would never film you without your permission. <laughs> I'm trying not to film this cat. On the wall. Look at that tea party. It's pretty good. All right. Get two sugars in the wrong. Hmm. <laughs> it is nice. It's really during the week. It's usually almost empty. I like it. It's comfy. I like to sit on a couch when I work. I don't like to sit at tables. I'm doing, you know, stuff where I have to highlight things. I like to have something to press on. But let's get out in the sun, people. Jeez, out. Oh. Oh yeah. So I had a corn dog yesterday, but it was a turkey corn dog, and I didn't really put that together after uh, I bit into it. That made me sad. I feel I thought there was another stage down this way. God, there's a lot of people here. Wow. People love them some good old days. Oh, there's a lizard. Oh, let's go to the lizard. Come on, everybody. Hurry up. Watch out, kids. We're going to see the lizard. Oh, God. I, it's a Gila monster. No, it's not. I think it's an iguana. Iguana. There it is. You see it? See it? See it right there? Everybody? Yep. That was the Gila monster. <laughs> Uh, and here's the Zumba from yesterday. The outdoor aerobics all day long. That is something I have literally never seen before at a um, at a fair carnival. It's very odd. Oh, and they got little dudes doing karate. Excuse me. Yep. I kind of want to go put my spandex on and get bounce. <laughs> That's pretty rad. Nice. <laughs>
right, let's go down to the old-timey gas station because that's where that great band was playing yesterday afternoon that had a banjo and an accordion. And that made me super happy. And it was a bunch of old dudes probably in their 60s rocking out. Oops. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Dang. <laughs> Oh, I hear some music. What's this little guy doing? Is he alright? Oh, whoops. Jeez. Are you alright, buddy? Are you cool? Yeah? Alright. The little dude sitting by himself on the corner, that kind of freaks me out. This is a new market that just opened up in a cafe. It's pretty rad. Oh shit, and I totally forgot to get my coffee here. Timey singing, not that great old timey singing. Oh God, wow! I believe that music festivals uh, really need to have, or like uh, the bands are better vocalists usually. I'm sorry, yeah, that's ridiculous. We're gonna stand there on the freaking corner for nothing. Anyway, yeah, the bands are really great because the people have been playing music forever, but the vocalists, not so much, really. Like, you, you, yeah, it's hard to be a good vocalist, apparently, in a band. You know, it's easy for me to say because I'm not. Well, it's actually, yeah, it's easy for me to say because I'm not. So there's that. So here's some other stuff. Oh, dudes, I totally forgot to show you. Yesterday, after I signed off with my live radio broadcast from the Old Timey Music Festival and Street Fair and Smoked Meat Scenario... I got temp I got two temporary tattoos on my arm because look at the water, you see it? Oh man, we might need to take a detour. Um, let's go see if there's some more music though first. And I got two temporary tattoos on my arm because I'm thinking about getting a real life tattoo where they stab you and you bleed and then your skin peels and you almost die. Um, and I've been thinking about it for years on and off on and off. And I finally came up with a design. This is kind of what the holdup has been. 
And so I got this really terrible temporary tattoos on my arm. And uh, I'm really glad I did it because they're totally... So I got it on the inside of my... I'll show you as soon as I put my coffee down. But I got them on the inside of my arm, like my wrist. And then when I turned my arm over, you could totally see half of it. So I think it's going to present a problem because my arm is really scrawny. So there's that. Something you know about me. I have scrawny arms. <laughs> Not like, you know, I'm just slim. I'm slender. Oh, here's the yard. Smoothie yard. A yard of smoothie. Oh, my God. All right, we're going high. Get ready. It's an aerial view. That would be the view as if I were like uh, 12 feet tall, probably. It's like six foot plus a guy on plus my reach, which is probably a yard. Yeah, it's about a 12 foot uh, aerial view of the festival. I feel like we came out like right at a break time. Yeah, the stage right. This is the street I live on right here. Straight up, not even a half a block. And this is the stage right by my house, obviously. It's a bus stop. I wait for the bus stop. Yeah, and so they're actually switching uh, grooves right now. So let's walk down to the other end and we'll cut over to look at the massive inflatable things that I saw a peak of yesterday and or walk down by the beach. All right, just, you know, to the water. I don't know. Because we're really at a time where there's no music. I mean, there was that really crappy singer back there, but, I, you know, I love you guys a lot. I mean, really? But so a girl has to draw the line, you know? <laughs> what I'm going to subject myself to on behalf of the good of the team. All right. There's a lot of wiener dogs. Oh man, look at that slide. God. I wonder if I could go down that slide. That would be rad. Looks awesome. Love slides. This is the most dog owning, owning e community I've ever lived in. Everyone has a dog. Literally. Everyone has a dog. It's crazy. Alright, not everyone. Not literally everyone because I don't have a dog. My neighbor doesn't have a dog, but they totally want a dog. I was trying to convince get uh to get a a rat or rats for her kids. Great pets. Wow, it smells it smells like sugar. I just crossed over some weird into a, a waft of sugar like you don't even know. Of course, the kettle corn, the cotton candy. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow. Seriously. God. It is like, I feel like I'm going to get really spasmodic just by walking through this area. Yeah, we're going to drop down a block and go check out the, uh, oh, that slide looks cool. Yeah. If I had a lot of land, ah, I'd probably get up uh, or get one of these. Oh, what's he spraying up there? Yo. It's like canola oil. I don't even know, dude. It's pretty big. Look at that. Yeah, it's awesome. Inflatables. The one thing I want to show you that I walked by yesterday was uh, this giant uh, tether ball. It's like an inflatable tether ball, but it's massive. It's inside a bouncy thing. I think we should probably get one for Northern Voice. That's all I'm saying. All right, aerial view. Thanks. Yeah, there it is. 
basically the coolest inflatable toy that I've ever seen. And when I worked at Seattle Central Community College, I was uh, in charge of student organizations, among other things, and we actually rented inflatables and dunk tail and stuff. I talked a little bit about that yesterday. It was pretty, pretty cool when you bring this stuff to a college campus. Uh, I'm not too certain about filming all these nuggets in here, but do a little walkthrough just to catch the <laughs> giant inflatable. It's called the wrecking ball action. Check shit out. That's incredible. Wow. Man, I wonder how different we would be if we had stuff when we were growing up. This is crazy. It's all boys in there, by the way. All boys. It's like territory everywhere. It's all boys. Huh. I'm not saying if I was a little girl, I'd be in there, but you know, just saying. <laughs> All right. This is a park I come to with the, the Nuggets, the Twins. Uh, and this sheet, I don't think goes down. Oh, geez. Sorry, brother. goes down to the beach, so we got to go up one. Try to go up one and over, then down and weave around. Let's check. Oh, shit. People, I got to prop my leg up on a vehicle here. I'm going to get my leg on a bumper on a mini van. Hold on. All right. Here's me propping my leg up, tending to my junk pinch and the chat. Let's see. What's going on? Out there having fun? Wish I were here. Oh, wait, you are. Check out the radio. Music overlaid on top of this on the radio. Nice. Who's what? Are you playing? Are you playing music? <laughs> oh man, that's right. I wish I was on the other side. That's what's kind of trippy about this experience. Yeah, here's my my leg propped, propping up. That's kind of sexy. Let's move on. Keep it above the waist, folks. <laughs> nice. Uh. It is so beautiful here. God, it really, people, you should be here. This is like uh, one of the most gorgeous parts of of the, our country, for sure, the U.S. You know, I haven't been to all over the world, but I've been to quite a few places, and this place just, uh, it speaks to me. The sea is green, and I love to be able to walk everywhere. The people, you know, I mean, they're little... God, what'd you say the night? Uh, they're like uh, vanilla, <laughs> a little vanilla. <laughs> but uh, it's rad, you know. They leave you to do your own thing. And for me, where I'm at right now, I think that's a good thing. That's why I left Oaxaca, because it was not vanilla there. It was muy picante. It's a little too spicy. <laughs> yeah, these are just uh, some houses architecture around here is cool. It's like, you know, beachside architecture. Alright. Ride your bike in the street, Jesus. Oh I think that oh man, it sounds good. Hmm. Yep, here we go. Seventeenth actually, this is my street. Let's take a walk down to the sea. Down by the ocean. God, that's a depressing song. Who sings that song? By the ocean, about the breakup. and You know, that song came out when I lived here before. And I was totally, I think it's like early 90s. And I think I was in a relationship with someone, a lover. And we totally broke up when we left. Oh, that was tragic. Oh, God. <laughs> you kidding me? Down by the ocean. Who sings that song? Mm, it's like a really crappy early 90s band. All right, back up. Next goal, have someone sit on top of you until you fall asleep. Who's that? I can't even see. Is that? <laughs> I can't see on my phone the glare. It's got to be Zach. No. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, that's a, that's a lifelong goal, I think. Having someone, a companion in your life that when you get really drunk, that instead of bitching you out and shining you or just being a complete cock smoker, uh, they just sit on you until you fall asleep. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I appreciate that concept, and I think it's a, it speaks a lot to the type of man or woman that would do that. <clears throat> Let's 
excuse me, I just totally spit. Yep. <laughs> I actually spit for other work. I learned that in the military. The fauna. No, flora. The flora of Pacific Grove. And the architecture. It's really pretty. That's a lot. I think there's cherry blossoms up yonder. Afternoon. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh. I feel like uh, my body changes the closer to the water, which is kind of trippy. It's like a conversation that happens. And it surprises me because I've only lived by the water when I've lived here in the past. And I always go to the water and I'm always drawn to it. Seattle or Portland. I grew up going to the Great Lakes. Uh, in northern Indiana, we had a cabin on Lake Michigan. So I went there a lot. My grandfather, he fished, so we went to a lot of little pocket lakes as well. I imagine when I was in Seattle and went out to the Washington coast and the Oregon coast, imagine getting like a, or building a modular home, uh, some sort of small, probably a little bit bigger than the shed whatever, but with an outdoor component, a large outdoor component, and uh, just posting up. I'm thinking, like, how much would it cost to actually live there? Like, could you literally work, like, four months out of the year and then just kick it for meats? <laughs> or, you know, plant vegetables? Thank you. Um, yeah, if that's your thing. Let's go down today. I'm not talking, you know, like live off the grid and like noise professor, you know, sustaining. I like to party and hang out too much. There are totally people swimming and playing on their waterboard, wakeboards. What are they, the little things that they float on? That might even be my neighbor down there. Her kids have wetsuits because if they want to go in the water, they need wetsuits around here. Yeah, it is flat today. Wow. Big difference compared to the day. I was down here and could barely uh, hold the camera. It was so windy. That is bright blue, huh? Down by the ocean, so depressed. <laughs> yeah, this is it. I like the grass. There was hardly any place in Oaxaca with grass. And the big plazas that had grass, you really weren't allowed to walk on the grass. And so there was an occasion that I found a restaurant. I was hanging out with one of my buddies, and we went outside the city just a little bit towards where he lived in the mountains. And there was a restaurant that for some reason had this big, huge back on the restaurant that was grass. It had a swing set and stuff. And I only realized at that moment that it had been, like, months since I had grass or touched it. And so I totally uh, took my shoes and socks off and I like, walked around in the grass for a good long time as he sat there drinking out and smoking, watching me be ridiculous. And I picked some of the grass and I think I even put it in my pocket for a while. It was Smith. <laughs> it was something to take a... You know, I, I guess I didn't understand that. Those, those moments you don't understand, I guess. So that's Monterey and Seaside way out there. It's really clear today, huh? You can see all the way across. And trees. All right, let's go back up. I bet the band's playing. Let's get some music. Finish my coffee. See about finishing up this job application. Ugh. My goal of one a week is, you know, it's down to about 0.7 a week. It rivals the average number of emails a day. But I feel like I have to make progress in that. <laughs>
Nice. It's like adobe. The scow is always sitting right there in the window. Hi. Down by the ocean. I believe nobody helped me with that song. Not helpful. It's probably good, you know. I'm sure. You, I'm sure you're doing it for me. You just send me the song. I'll get depressed if I listen to it, but I won't. Oh, look at that one. Look at this guy. How did that happen? Roses grow in concrete, that's what they say. It's so not the same thing. It's like a daisy in a field of green. I hear something. There's an apartment for rare in this blue house to the left. Uh, I think it's, it looks like by the emptiness of the space, it looks like it's a down apartment. Which for me, in a big old house, means a lot of noise. It's very creaky. Not that appealing. And I would also make you to guess, if it, I think it's a two-bedroom, it's like probably 1700 at least. Which is crazy. I think I couldn't even justify that. You can live, from, you can live in Mexico for like three, three months on that, or more. Thailand, or... Forever. There's a guy in the park posted up DJing. Oh, that's awesome. There's a little in there. Just playing music. It's cool. How's it going? Hi. Hi. See him over there? It's kind of cool. He's playing you too. That's probably why nobody's there. <laughs> you too's not bad. All right, so the trick is, let's orient ourselves so we can just walk straight up and get to my street without going into the madness. So I think that means, whoa, who's that? That too always bugs me out whenever I walk home. I definitely think it's a person. But it's not, as you can see, it's like a, a pewter statue of someone. And it's really large. Look at what it says. Honoring grandfathers, sculpted by Tender Prokopenko, a gift from the Hal Green family. Wow. Honoring grandfathers. Yeah, he totally looks like a grandfather. He looks like my grandfather, now that I think about it. Maybe that's why it always bothered me. Do you think that's a mason ring? You know, secret line, secret society? Might be. Watch. Yep. Alright. So we got two blocks over and one block up. And we'll go check out what's going on at the corner. Oh, I wonder if this garden is open. It's a really cool garden right by my house. It's a local plants. Thank you. Thanks. Chattahua Hall, 1881. Oh, looks like they're doing something in there. Oh, geez. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. That's swamp music. Yeah, this is a park. It's really pretty. The gazebo. Yeah, I think the bands are playing simultaneously, and so we caught a break. And now there's two, probably two bands playing at the same time. It's a strategy. I don't necessarily know, agree with the choice.
Hi, how are you? Oh. I think I've decided that the tambourine is my instrument. Let's check out this scenario. See how tambourine's coming out. Oh, yeah. This is about my speed. if you have to.
pay some vote for them. All right, so I'm going to say tambourine and cowbell. Totally get a cowbell. I kind of love it. this number. Local Groove is the name of the band. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the lead the lead singer is probably Elvis impersonator, like this other time. They have a lot of soul this band, it's really cool. I can get behind that. Heading home now. Just got the battery, ten percent suck light. So take it all the way to the blue shed brothers and sisters thanks for uh, accompanying me I'm sufficiently caffeinated around two I'm gonna go back try to finish up this job application and uh, maybe try to find something to eat but everyone's having a great day 
Uh, thanks to Grant. I think I've been playing music. That's awesome. And everyone for chatting. And I hope you enjoyed the time that we spent together in Pacific Grove. Yeah, totally miss me. Bye, guys.